Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look of a very cool Android launcher called Lens Launcher. And what Lens Launcher does is that it puts all your Android apps in one home screen. Like you see here, this mess that you see here are all my Android uh, apps install on my phone um the very cool thing is that of course you can either see the apps like this and tap on one of them to install to open it up for example if i tap on this one right here it'll open up the browser like you see there or of course you can just swipe your finger around and, we'll, and it'll have like a fish uh, lens effect and it zooms in on the applications like you see there very 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 cool of course this is the application here lens launcher is going to launch it um, and like you see here um, when you open it up you there's a couple customization you can actually do like for example you could control the size of the icons there you go I can make it really big if I want uh, distortion factor this is this effect right here I can make uh, the space in between them a little bit more wider if I want. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, here, scale factor, same thing. This is basically the size of the apps as well. Um, here, I got animation time. This is basically the speed of the scrolling. Uh, by default, it's set to 200. Honestly, this that's the speed I'm leaving it at. But you could change it, make it a little bit slower if you want. Apps here is where you're going to hide the apps that you do not want to be visible on your home screen so if there's a specific app that you don't want to be visible on the home screen you could just tap right there like you see there android pay is now hidden so that application is not going to be visible um, but let's go ahead uncheck it and now it's going to be visible so that's cool um here in settings you got icon pack you can actually install an icon pack the only problem is that you cannot go individually to an app and change the icon icon to that app that's the only thing so if you apply an icon pack it will apply the icon pack to all the applications that is compatible with the icon pack um here you got of course home launcher just make sure you choose lens launcher and there you go like you see there looks the application looks a little bit bigger and if i swipe around like you see there the effect looks a lot more bigger too look at that that looks incredible and of course i could just tap right there and that's it um here background you can actually choose your own wallpaper if you want you could just by tapping like that and just of course this is very familiar so if you choose a wallpaper you could set it up and that's it look at that so you have your own wallpaper there looks pretty nice looks pretty cool but honestly i prefer using solid colors for now uh, i'm gonna choose that and choose that colors and the cool thing is here is that you could choose an icon color right and it has like different tones to it uh, like you see here the green this one right here different tones the blue has different tones as well if i pick this one looks pretty cool there you go look at that very nice looking blue as well uh whoops i think i opened an application there and go back back here back here i really like the gray one this one right here looks pretty damn cool i can leave it right there and that's it this is highlighted colors so for example let's say you install a new application there's going to be like a little dot under the application letting you know that that application is a new application so this is the color of that dot if you want to change it you just change the color of the dot and that's it of the highlighted and that's it vibrate app hover you could check that vibrate app launcher i have it selected and it's pretty cool because when you're doing this when you're doing this and you're um selecting an app for, to open up if you click right there and let it go you'll feel a feedback and that's pretty damn cool i think i'm pretty sure you want to feel that feedback so i would leave it like that a uh, name on the hover on the applications if you uncheck it you will not see the names like you see there you will just see the applications and you will not see no names whatsoever um, but let's go back again i honestly leave the names uh, show new ta app tag so that's the the little tag that will let you if the app is new and show touch selection that's it other than that there's nothing much you can do here so like you see here this is the size that we chose and this distortion as well uh, but honestly i prefer this right here i prefer 
this size right there I prefer this um, distortion right there and the application size is pretty cool like that let me see a little bit bigger like that there you go and there you go that I rather have this one here looks pretty damn cool I really prefer the way that looks and the size of it when you zoom in I like it that it looks like that as well and that's pretty damn cool the great thing is that this application is totally um free so you could try it out on any android smartphone uh, of course like i said before you have access to this right here so you're not gonna you know just because you use the launcher is not gonna um change the other buttons function you still have your notification panel um if you launch your your camera with double tap there it's still gonna work if you press and hold to access Google Tap or Google Now. You see there, it's still gonna work. Uh, this right here, this little bar right here is Samsung Pay. So if you're asking, yeah, what the hell is that bar right there? Yeah, that's Samsung Pay. So you see here, Samsung Pay is still gonna work and it works perfectly good as well. And if you have another function here, it will still work. Everything's gonna work. Uh, the only negative thing I would have to say about this application is that, for example, uh, on Android, uh, we're used to, for example, pressing a application, holding it, and seeing some commands up here, like for example, app info and uninstall, you do not have that option here. You do not have that option here. You would have actually have to go to the application over here, click right there and uninstall. This is how you would do it. You go open app info or uninstall. That's that's it. So that's the only way you could uninstall the applications. Uh, the other thing is that you cannot have uh, widgets as well. The, that's the other negative thing. So if you rely on using widgets, you will not have to, we cannot use that. Uh, right now, I'm not having problems with the widgets because the only widget that I really, 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 really use is my Pocket Cast the pocket cast and what I do is that I launch the application right and when I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to something um, you know sometimes they're gonna have like the player here so I just use notification to control it there or I just control it from my my home screen from my lock screen and that's it other than that I've been enjoying this application is pretty cool especially if you have a big big smartphone um, it will make it a lot more easier to look at your application I'm pretty sure if you have a small smartphone um, it's gonna be really really hard to see all the applications so make sure you keep that in mind other than that guys just want to share this application with you guys and this is the beauty about Android you could do whatever you want with your Android customize it to whatever the hell you like without having to root or you know jailbreaking your smartphone so guys thanks for watching the video I will leave a link in my descriptions that way you can go ahead and try it out for free and let me know what you guys think about this application. What you think about this launcher? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Let me know. Till next time, guys.